Hey guys, Justin here and welcome to today's video. I am pretty excited because I am trying out the Worship Tutorials AC30 version 3 line 6 Helix patch. And this is the version that comes with a free IR that they're rolling out. I am pretty excited because it sounds really good. What you heard just now was the patch that I tweaked for humbuckers. Let me tell you a bit about myself. I come from an engineering background and I worked for a couple of years in a manufacturing facility. As an engineer, I had to read the instructions and follow them to the T. Step by step, every single thing that happened on the manufacturing floor was a result of people following instructions. Otherwise, you have catastrophic results and things will definitely go wrong. I am a guy who does not have golden ears. I can't hear differences between tones very well. So I trust that Brian and Bradford, you know, these guys, the wonderful people at Worship Tutorials, they definitely know what they're doing and they know what makes things sound good or bad. So when it comes to um, tweaking a tone and a patch, for humbuckers versus single coils, I think that there is a very, very good chance that if you were to play this patch with traditional output humbuckers, let's say a Les Paul, it's going to sound muddy. Why? Because for single coil guitars plugging into a patch like this, you want to roll off that high end and you want to roll off some of the uh, treble frequencies that may make the patch really, really bright. So for humbucker guitars, you would realize if you read the README file, the recommended EQ settings is to tweak everything upwards. So to have the mids and the high mids to be tweaked a little bit higher and for the cut control to be all the way down so as to let in a lot more treble frequency uh, on the AC30 patch. What this does is give a lot more articulation to the Les Paul. And in fact, because the higher mids are boosted a little bit, what actually ends up happening is that there is a lot more gain on the guitar. So without tweaking the patch, you will hear that the Les Paul sounds a bit dull and it does not get as much gain out of the patch. So what I ended up doing was I created two different patches. I created a patch for single coils and a patch for humbuckers. So, and I cycled between these two patches to have the various sounds of clean, overdriven, and a lead tone.
I hope this has been interesting and helpful to you. And I hope I have encouraged you that README files are important and you should be reading them so that you can get the best tone possible out of your patch right out of the gate. If you do have any questions, queries, or comments, please post them in the comment box below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. This is Justin signing off.